Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Figured I'd uh, do a quick recording on my way out to get groceries this morning and uh, actually talk about like coming into winter here about uh, having supplies long enough just to get you through like a week's worth of a snowstorm and then this kind of being the starting point of where preparing to start you know is that 72 hour mark you got enough food in your house for 72 hours if you get caught in a storm it doesn't matter if it's up here in the north where I live or down in the south if you get caught in a hurricane or anything like that um it's one of those deals, do you have what you need for your family to get through those things? And I give you a good example of that. A friend of mine here last, I think it was last winter, when uh, she lives down in Dallas, she got stuck in that snowstorm and she lost power. And she was not ready or prepared for it at all. Luckily, she was able to get to her parents' house, which they had power and they were able to you know have the things that she needed to to to, to make it for the week that she didn't have power but you know it, it opened her eyes to like maybe she should have some stuff on hand in case it ever happens again such as like a small generator with a few gallons of gas for it uh that kind of thing she had the food but she didn't have any way to prepare because of how she was set up for not uh, being without power. So, I mean, and then when it comes to that time, there wasn't a generator on the shelf there to be bought. So, take that into consideration when you're making this, these preparedness efforts. So, make sure you have what you need for what you're preparing for. And if it's the 72 hour mark you know have the stuff that you know your family's going to eat have stuff that's simple to make if need be that doesn't take a lot of preparation or things like that even things you can eat cold like sandwiches or whatever but take that stuff in mind when you're preparing because it all matters ah uh, you know, because like I said, if you can get to the 72 hour mark for your family and then you decide you want to be prepared further down the line, you have the ability to because you kind of already understand what you're doing. It's just baby steps. Like the saying goes, you can only eat an elephant one bite at a time. So, but make sure when they, for your 72 hour stuff, ah. Uh, make sure you got it on hand all the time and for seeing as we're coming into winter let's have that discussion about your winter kits for your cars having a 72 hour food pack like emergency food pack in your car is not a terrible thing the same with having some bottled water in there having a couple three gallons of water in your car is not a terrible thing especially coming in winter and say you get stuck in a snowstorm and you wind up in the ditch and you're stranded for a couple days because they're not sending rescue teams out. Having those things could mean life or death. And, you know, being up here in the north where I live in the wintertime, the one thing I would put in, in the back of my car would be like a Mr. Buddy heater. Now, granted, are you going to want to run that with the windows closed? No, but you can warm the car up, shut it off, and that way you don't freeze to death either. So... You know, make sure you got blankets and like I said, I throw a 72 hour bag of like uh, the Augustine Farms or Wise Meals or whatever in the trunk and get like, uh, I think they're, I see them all the time. I can't remember what they're called, but I think they're like jet cups or they're little cups you can boil water in. Have one of those in there where they take just the little cans of fuel because then you can heat up your, your water and you can just dump it in the, the bag of like Mountain House and have a meal you know, in your car, if need be. Like I said, that's for people who live here in the north, you know. You get stuck in your car during a winter storm, that's not the greatest thing in the world. Um, and when, you go, when you're going out somewhere, 
like I drive truck so what I do is if I go out there's always somebody that knows where I'm going even like once I get to a location everybody in there's someone in my family that knows exactly where I'm at that night when I stop so like having people know where you're going is not a terrible thing even if it's just one person in your family because they can relay the message if someone if something were to happen and wonder where you're at so keep that in mind also you know try to communicate with your family make sure that someone always knows where you are headed because if something were to happen that gives them a place to start looking where you were at ah uh, today's video is probably going to be a little shorter than the last one but there's just some stuff that I wanted to cover here. You know, like the 72 hours start there. Have your have your food for your family in case you get snowed in or whatever. Make sure you got like a 72 hour kit in your car because you never know when you can get stranded. Uh, and for, you know, the future, if you guys want to drop an idea for a topic to discuss, put it in the, in the messages below. And, uh, Please subscribe, hit the like button, and have a great day.